So in flow, one of the most asked questions is how to mount the transmitter in gas service, especially for orifice flow meters. So let's take this example. Here's your pipe and here's gas flowing through it. Now the transmitter is put on top of the pipe or top of the tapping. And the second thing which is important to note here is that the slope of the tubing has to be towards the pipe. Now what is the use of this thing is because if suppose the gas service also has some liquid entrance in it, you would not want that to get trapped in your impulse lines. So because of gravity, the fluid is always going to go downward and is always going to remain in the pipe and it won't be a dead leg for the transmitter. Now the next question is what do you do in liquid services? In liquid services, the transmitter would be below the tapping and the slope. Remember that the slope will always be towards the transmitter and not towards the pipe. Why? Because you want the liquid to be trapped here and if there is any gas which is lighter, it will always stay up and it will never come to your transmitter and thus the gas would not get trapped inside your impulse lines. Finally, you might ask for liquid services is same. So would it be same for steam services? The answer is yes. For steam services also the transmitter is put in the downward direction so that the water gets condensed and it is able to store in the impulse line such that the steam cannot directly hit the transmitter and damage it. Here's a video here where I've talked about the top three questions that have been asked in control valves. And if you've liked this video, please subscribe. Let's meet next Saturday and learn something new again.